Welcome to Preparing for Adulthood Fair 2020. Um, this presentation is just going to be a, a little snapshot of what provision that we have at Furness College for our SEN students. We have an inclusion team that goes across three sites, Channel Side, Rating Lane and Core. Um, all three are, take the holistic approach to supporting all our learners, whatever their SEN need is, so that they can fulfil their potential. Um, we meet our students from the very beginning and we carry out transitions and then we see them right way through their few years of college, um, fully supported by um, a team of specialists, either in class with learning support assistants or through specialist mentors on a one-to-one -one basis. Our staff are very experienced in working with students in all different learning difficulties with sensory impairments, physical difficulties or mental health needs. We make sure that we are committed to removing any barriers there are to learning and ensure that they get equal access to education. Some of the things that we provide are class and workshop support. We, we do provide one-to-one -one personal tuition from a learning mentor. We can provide access to learning with the mentors if needed and sometimes specialist equipment is needed. We can provide specialist tuition and access to specialist software when required. We support um, our students if they go on to university with a disability student allowance in applying for it. And we provide assessments and exam considerations. If you have any further questions about what inclusion can offer you through Furness College, you can contact me, Natasha Kenny, who's the EHCP lead, and the email address is below, or Julie Cooper, who's a student support coordinator, or Ruth Niven, the specialist exam assessor. Just like to show you a short video now that shows um, our, one of our sites, which is Rating Lane. Hi, my name's Sue. I'm one of the directors at the college and I manage the inclusion and pastoral teams. I'm Natasha and I'm the EHCP lead and I'll be managing all your reviews. Hi, my name's Kira and I'm the pastoral lead and I manage the personal progress teams at college. When you come to college in September, you'll each get a personal progress coach who's your first point of contact for any support and welfare needs you, you have whilst with us. We wanted to put together a little video just to help you with your transition to college because obviously due to coronavirus we've not been able to do what we would normally do for you. So we've asked two former students to give you a little tour around the college and let you know where things are and how you go about doing things when you get here. We're looking forward to welcoming you in September. Hi guys, this is, uh, this is the main reception, so this is the entrance you'll be going in. Uh, we'll just give you a quick walk through to show you um, how different it is now uh, with all the arrows and social distancing in place, but it's nothing to worry about, and we'll talk to the rest of the college as well. Just come in, you need to stay two metres apart from the person, the next person along, or the person behind you. And there are arrows on the cards to help you kind of gauge where you need to do that. It is a one way system, so you'll follow it through all the way to the temperature scanner. The temperature scanner will then you know, tell you whether you, you have a temperature or not. If you do have a temperature, um, you just you need to go home, but reception can advise you on that. Uh, if you don't have temperature, obviously continue moving around. Um, around. We'll, we'll speak to Liz and say, hi Liz. Hi. <laughs> hi, I'm Helen and I'm the deputy head of the sixth form campus at Rating Lane. So I look out after the day-to-day -day running of the college uh, and I enjoy looking after all the students that come onto the campus safely. So this area here is student services. These guys are also here to support you during your time at college. If you need any careers advice, you know, you need a new lanyard, or you just want um, a bit of help generally, these guys are always here to support you. So this behind the reception is the, uh, this is the PPC room. Um, during your time at college, you'll all get the PPC and they're kind of there to answer any um, 
welfare concerns she may have, that kind of thing. Uh, that's part of your time at college. Hi, we've got three rooms dedicated to inclusion. We've got the inclusion base room where you can chill out. We've got the inclusion work room where you can do some work on the computers or with your learning mentor. And we've got the staff room just down there in which um, you just can go and find a learning mentor there if you need them, just knock on the door. So we'll just give you a bit of a tour around the college. So um, obviously following these arrows and the social distancing guidelines. So you come down here, um, through this double set of automatic doors, you end up in the information point. Now, usually, um, if we had people like universities in, um, companies in, they'd set up here, so you'd be able to kind of come speak to them. We do have vending machines over there um, that take cars, just in case you get hungry during the day. Uh, we also have the TV up there, which offers a bit of kind of um, news of what's happening around the college, the latest college information. If you then, um, on your right, you'll see the Learning Hub and Library. So if you go through there, that's where your independent learning will be. That's, um, that's another quiet study area there. So this is the library. Um, so whilst we're at sixth form, you might need to come borrow some books to help you with your learning. Um, this works as a, exactly the same as a regular library. So you just come in, pick up a book, take it to the desk, you'll sign it out. The library is also a uh, quiet learning area. So it's really good to come do work here during the day. Uh, everyone themselves is also working quietly too. Heading up the stairs there, that's where most of maths, English and geography is up there. Um, and yeah, just carry on going. So you can see more vending machines here. So then as we come up this bit, the canteen's a bit of a mess at the minute because we've had to kind of um, block it off just to say social distancing. But uh, this is the canteen. Usually it be full of happy smiling students. To the, uh, to the left there is the student union area. It acts as a bit of a quiet study area but also a bit of a chill out area as well. So students to go, sometimes with the music playing. When you do have your lunch, when you do have your lunch, you will queue up here. The hatches aren't open at the minute because we do not do food currently. But when the hatches are open at lunchtime, they're usually open between um, 10.30 and 1. And if you just queue up here for your lunch and the, uh, the ladies behind the uh, counter will be able to help you there. Down here we've got a set of toilets, um, just in case you do need time during lunchtime or anything. We're going to go down here. Because on the right here is the theatre. Sometimes when we have big events such as um, university speak, uh, speakers or induction on the first day of college, sometimes these will be held in the theatre there. Uh, so carrying on moving down here, uh, we do have a lot of lockers in college. When you come in September, if you do fancy getting a locker yourself, just bring in a padlock and put it on the locker that uh, doesn't have one on currently. So a lot of these have padlocks on at the minute because our current students have them but there will be a lot of empty ones in September as our current students leave. Moving on, um, to the right down here we've got the art department, so if you are taking art or anything this is where you'll do most of your art lessons. And down the left here is where we have the majority of the science labs as well. But we're just going to keep continuing out here because this is another exit here as well. And the staircase up there as well, in case you need to get up. Okay, so, obviously, as you can see, there's arrows and markings on the floor there to kind of keep a bit more guidance on staying socially distant. Um, you will have to follow these arrows to get to the exit. You can, only, you can only come in through reception, you can't leave. You can leave through this way here. So, going through these automatic doors and then going through the exit out here. And that is one of the ways you can get out of college. So most of the time we spent in the main building there, which is called the Manor Building. But you might have some lessons in the Abbey Building back here. So to get into the Abbey Building, all you need to do is take your student card and swipe it on the pad over there and the door will open. Um, most of the lessons in here are health and social, travel and tourism, there's a couple of IT suites. Uh, but like I said, most of the lessons will be spent in the Manor Building. Thank you guys for watching that video, um, I really hope it's been useful. 
and you know if you still have any more questions feel free to get in contact with us but i do look forward to seeing you guys in september